Good morning, guys. Welcome to another day in the life of Chef K. And uh, I'm going to bring you along with me. And today, there's going to be a new recipe, so stay tuned. So I have been a fellow believer in Jesus Christ. I have been raised in Christianity and accepted Jesus as my Lord and Savior at the age of 18, back in 2012. Lately, I've been going to Grace Bible Church um, because uh, it's the church that my husband has grown up with, and I want to give it a real chance and make it my own personal church. The Women's Discipleship has been going through a thorough Bible study um, involving memory verses, and um uh, and it's been, I've only started it about a week ago since the churches have slowly been opening up. And, um, and here I am just, uh, just reading, start getting started, um, giving a good study, analyzing the word, and just really taking the word of God to heart. And now I'm about to do a dynamic core exercise by FitOn, um, which is uh, something that uh, Weight Watchers highly recommends. I'm doing a series of uh, different kinds of exercises, some that, that require standing up and some that, uh, that require you on the floor. Um, they request uh, using a floor mat. Um, uh, so we're, I'm using a, uh, my yoga mat. And, um, and yeah, it was a pretty challenge, challenging exercise, even though it looks pretty simple. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I highly recommend using Fit On or some sort of exercise video like that. I'm going to do one ounce of this ground beef. And heat that up. I'm 
And then we grab our main lettuce leaf and towel dry that. All while the meat cooks. Because we're going to wrap it in there. Do one tablespoon. Ah. Actually, maybe more like half of a tablespoon, and that would be zero points. Yeah, I'll count that as half. Is also zero. And a little bit of parmesan. Enough to be zero. And let's, like, that's fine. And then I'll wrap it up or at least attempt to. And there you go, a little, <laughs> a little taco wrap. <laughs> Let's see how this is. <laughs> mm. Mm. That's amazing. Mm. <laughs> Napkins are needed for this. Mm. It would be really good with avocado. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little saute of the Brussels sprouts and have that as a side. So, this Trader Joe's balsamic vinegar, um, one tablespoon is one point. Um, these Brussels sprouts are uh, 16 ounces, so I think I'm going to divide it four ways. Um, so that way, uh, four tablespoons to this um, four ways would be uh, roughly the same, um, one tablespoon's worth. Um, because it's all divided and we're not going to eat it all. So that's how I'm going to do this. Just saute, saute. I would do almonds, but that'll be more work. And I'm too hungry for work. So, you, yeah. You know how it is. Hey guys, see how, uh, how much browner the Brussels sprouts have become? That's how you know that it's, uh, that it's cooked more, um, all the way through and it's soaking up the juices.
not so good. Let's see how these taste. This is a one point snow. <laughs> you guys, that was a three point meal. Russell sprouts and the taco, um, the taco wrap. <laughs> I could have done a second taco wrap, um, and that, and, um, with another ounce worth, and that would have only been, um, four, five point meal. So, not bad, not bad. Like I said, we gotta get that avocado. <laughs> So today I'm going to be making um, a creamy uh, spaghetti squash casserole with, uh, with some um, tomatoes in it, some spinach, and uh, some garlic, um, oh, and ricotta cheese, so you don't want to miss this. <laughs> So first, we're going to chop this lengthwise in half, um, and I'll be microwaving on, um, on this microwave safe plate, and, uh, and that'll help to loosen the spaghetti squash. So let's do this. <laughs> Okay, bear in mind this is my first time. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna do this on a cutting board instead. Maybe if I cut from here? Why is it so hard? It's so small though. Mm. That was miserable. And then somehow this gets seated. Okay, and then you just flip it on the halves. What? I thought I took this off. Didn't know there were two. And the sticker is fighting me. Oh, there you go. And then just microwave that for 
sorry. Four. Twelve minutes. And then you'll want to prep some onion. Any onion would do. Just doing this because I'm lazy. Chop off the ends because they're probably not the freshest. And then just cut it like normal. I just decided to go with the green onion because it's been a while since I've had a green onion. So I think that'll be quite yummy. And then meanwhile, on medium high, you're going to cook that onion. Until it's all translucent, like, should take about five minutes. To add two cups of tomato of your choice. Um, if the recipe calls for cherry tomatoes, but I don't like them, so I'm just going with these regular diced. From a pan. Let me lower this. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy! And it also calls for uh, two cloves of garlic. I have this um, minced, pre minced garlic. One tablespoon equals two cloves. Or, not sorry, not tea, tablespoon, teaspoon. And let it cook for another three minutes. When it is nice and hot, um, forking it should get this nice spaghetti consistency. Just be careful because it hot. So you're going to do that all around till most of the squash lifts out. And you can put it in the casserole dish. Okay, next you'll want to... Let me give this a stir. Next you'll want to add... Let me bring the heat back up. You'll want to add uh, six cups of spinach. One. So the back says um that, ah, sorry, that two servings per container is three cups, so I'm just going to dump this whole bag. Good mix. 
and eventually the seam will shrink that spinach down until it's wilted. And that's what we want. Then you turn off the heat um, and You add uh, the spaghetti squash to it, all of that. And give that a stir. And then it does, uh, it does require 16 ounces of uh, ricotta cheese. But I just found out that mine has mold in it, so I'm just going to skip that step. Probably would be better somehow with it. I'm not a big fan of mozzarella, of uh, ricotta cheese anyway. And that's a quarter cup of the mozzarella. Um, and then you'll need two tablespoons of parmesan And lastly, salt and pepper. And then you'll want to bring the temp to 400, 400 degrees. You top it with some cheese, parmesan, and mozzarella. And then you just uh, bake it in the oven for 20 minutes, of course, while keeping an eye on it. And uh, yeah, one serving is one cup, and, um, and it'll be delicious. Probably needs a little more cheese, though, but we'll see. We'll have to try it. And we're going to try it tomorrow. I'm going to family picnic tomorrow. And yes, they are. They have been staying quarantined for months. And they hardly leave the house, neither do I. The only time that uh, that Chris leaves the house is for work, but um, he keeps the mask on and everything, so yeah. Um, that'll do it for, for today. <laughs> I'm too exhausted to film anymore, and I'm sure that there is more than enough footage for this. So yeah, 
Thanks for sticking around and have a great day, guys. Bye. Oh, and make sure to hit that subscribe button. Forgot to say that. Have a good one.